and tonight's final home cook end the day on a high. I'm Christine from Houston, Texas, and I'm a graduate student. My husband's here supporting me. He's my biggest fan. I love food, I love eating it, I love creating it. I feel like regardless of what your background is, your gender, your religion, food is something everybody has in common in this world, and so I think food is what connects people together. I'm definitely a competitive person. I really want to get this apron. I am here for a reason. I'm supposed to be graduating school, but I set aside my thesis to get an apron and become the next master chef. Um, welcome. Thank you. Um, first name is? My name is Christine. Christine, in the history of MasterChef, we've never had a blind contestant. Welcome. Thank you. The Thank you, gentleman Chef. with you? That's my husband. His name is John. Right. Great. Uh, what are you cooking? I'm cooking Vietnamese comfort food. It's a catfish braised in a clay pot, and I pickled vegetables to go with it okay. and uh, some rice. OK. Christine. You've got five minutes to complete that dish. Thank you. Just in front. Just in no, front? No, you were there. Just a little bit higher, darling. OK, thank there we you. Are. Thank you. Christine? Yes, Chef? Were you born blind? No, no, Chef. Um, when I was um, maybe about 10 years ago, I was diagnosed with a, an autoimmune condition that affected my nerves, my spinal cord and my optic nerves, and so I lost my vision gradually over the past 10 years. In your mind, you're visualizing what you put on a plate. You Yes, that's correct. You know, I felt the plate and things like that before, and um, a lot of it is obvious by memory. Do you ever think that your disability somehow could be an advantage in a competition like this or just in cooking in general? Yes, Chef, please excuse my chewing. Yes, it is. Because I can't see, I won't be worrying about what other people are doing. I love the fact that you're tasting everything. Uh -huh. I have to. I can't see. <laughs> One of my teaching methods with young chefs today is that we put a blindfold on them and they understand Correct. the texture, the taste, which is accelerated quicker when your eyes are closed and you're concentrating purely on the senses. Yes, correct, Chef. My rice did not turn out um, to par, so I'm not, I'm not serving it to you. OK, I guess I'm done. <laughs> Thank you. The catfish, how did you cook it? With some caramel that I made by just caramelizing sugar on the stove and using coconut soda as well, mm -hmm. and with shallots and garlic. And the base of the broth is made up of what? Fish sauce. I um, love chef. the fact that you kept the fish on the bone. Why? Catfish is just, it's really tender, and I didn't want to pick it apart and make it look unappetizing, so I left it as a steak. I think it looks more appealing, and that's just the way uh, Vietnamese people eat. <sighs> you know, you're going to be judged like everybody else in this competition. Yes, chef. Um, the dish does need the sort of stability. It's a staple, done beautifully, but missing the rice. Yes, chef, I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. So what's the idea behind cooking it in the clay pot? It's supposed to aid with the uh, quicker caramelization and braising of the uh, product you put inside, Chef. Okay. It's got a beautiful aroma. Thank you, Chef. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Chef. Hi. Hi, sir. I'm Joe, obviously. I've heard you uh, give mean looks, but luckily I can't see it. <laughs> you have a great advantage. As you talk about your food, not only are you able to express it in words, but your face speaks volumes. Yes. 
Your eyes beam with happiness and pride and passion. And uh, you have a lot to be proud of. It's, Thank uh, you, sir. It's an amazing, amazing accomplishment. Thank you, sir. Okay. Joe, yes or no? 100% yes. Thank you, sir. Graham, yes or no? Um, everybody has a story and has things that they have to overcome. Judge solely on that dish. Yes, Jeff. I'm a yes. Oh, God. Thank you, Chef. Your personal challenge aside, for me, that's one of the most delicious dishes I've tasted in this competition so far. Do you know what I'm going to give you? A white apron. A white apron. Congratulations. Thank you. I'll come and get it. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Jeff. I mean, really, good job. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. I'm so touched that they all complimented me on my food and they believed in me, so I feel ecstatic. <laughs> For everyone in America, you can overcome anything you want to overcome and get what you want to get, and I'm going to be the next master chef. <laughs>